Barrio de las Letras is the literary district of Madrid. The corner store is not on the corner, at least not in the Huertas district. There is another location on the corner near the Plaza de Alonso Martinez. The corner sells men's and women's clothing and some accessories such as handbags, shoes, sunglasses, jewelry, and hats. You can even find a few home goods such as artisanal ceramic pots, vases, dishes, candles, incense, soaps, and perfume. The clothing appears to be made of all natural materials such as cotton and linen. The sizes cater towards the average size person. I bought the smallest top I could find there, a black turtleneck, and it was a bit big. The prices are slightly above average. A white short sleeved shirt, for example, will cost you about 60 euros. La Tienda is right next to the corner shop. This store is not on Google Maps because it is located inside a pizza shop that went out of business and it never changed the name on the storefront. It has no website and it's hard to Google because the name is, well, the store. La Tienda. La Tienda. La Tienda. La Tienda. It seems to be a souvenir shop that specializes in gag gifts and practical items with a humorous twist. The humor is much funnier if you speak Spanish and understand Spanish culture. It's sort of like the Spanish version of Spencer's gifts. Everything is reasonably priced. I bought an Alfred Hitchcock Psycho bookend for 12 euros and an inappropriately branded condom for 2 euros 50 cents. Come for the gag gifts, stay for the Spanish grammar. A lot of items have Spanish slang and colloquial expressions defined. Nadie te quiere. <laughs> no soy una princesa, soy una guerrera. I think warrior, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mis piripolleces. The owner is really nice with an awesome sense of humor. A dog treat selfie clip. So like, to get your dog to like take a photo, you put a treat on oh. it. Hoy es un buen día para que me dejes en paz. Good use of the subjunctive. Las Artesanas is what I refer to as a fancy hat shop. Paula, a designer and weaver of Bulgarian origin, brings together artisans. She chooses each piece for its creativity, good workmanship, and diversity as she wants to offer a range of aesthetics for all palettes. All the designs are handmade and personal to each artisan. It is very expensive. Several hats cost more than 400 euros. This boutique is most appropriate for weddings, the Kentucky Derby, or Madrid Fashion Week. <laughs> the woman in the video, who is probably the owner, Paulina, certainly knew how to sell. As soon as she put that colorful headband on my head and styled my hair, she knew I just had to buy it. How could I not? It went with my outfit. Really amazing, eh? Perfectly. Yes, perfectly for, for your look now. La Entrusa has two locations, one in Malasaña and the other in Calle León in Las Letras. This boutique sells retro-ish clothing, accessories, art, decor, and objects from an international array of artists and designers. They opened in 2008, aiming to sell their own creations and the works of other emerging designers. Their first shop was in the Malasagna neighborhood. They moved into an abandoned fur factory. The store was robbed the next year and they had to shut. But in 2011, they reopened, naming the store La Intrusa, The Intruders. 
in Malasaña and later in Las Letras. Because of social distancing, I didn't get the chance to check out their clothing, but I noticed it was one size fits all, which usually doesn't work for me. I did buy a matching gold necklace and bracelet though, and so far I'm happy with my purchases. The prices were really affordable. The items cost me 28 euros total. La 29 is a Spanish chain that sells retro styled new shoes and vintage pinup styled new clothing for men and women. The leather 50s inspired high heels are worth the 65 to 119 euro price tag because they are very comfortable. You can walk all over the cobblestone hilly city with them on and they'll last at least a decade. I have purchased two pairs of high heeled shoes and a dress from La 29. Their clothing sizes run large. I got the first pair of shoes for 75 euros, the second pair for 90, and the dress for 52. Come for the retro clothing, stay for the customer service, discounts, and shoes. In conclusion, here are all the items that I have purchased in boutique shops in the Las Letras neighborhood so far. You have already seen some of these items featured in part one of this five part series. Yes, there are so many boutique shops in this neighborhood that we had to split the video into five parts. We'll wrap up the series by doing a top five video going into depth explaining why we chose five of the shops as our favorites. This series was made possible by the knowledge and planning of Andrea Summers, a local Las Letras resident.